Marty Greenberg wants to know, with 33 varsity sports, I'm not sure if you are looking to add another one, especially during these financial difficult times, but what would it take to add Division I hockey? Is it feasible? How much additional staff would it take? And what kind of money are we talking about? Yeah, you know, Tay, we've talked about it repeatedly. Um, uh, we've got all kinds of models that we put together. Um, everything you can imagine in terms of uh, a roadmap ahead, the possibilities, etc. cetera. Um, you know, I come from an environment at Boston College uh, back when I hired Jerry Ork, who's one of the winningest coaches in the history of the game now at BC. You know, went to national championships. Um, get it, understand it, love the sport. You know, my son-in-law is a 15-year NHL veteran. Um, so it'd be wonderful to be able to bring ice hockey to varsity status. Um, in today's day and age, you know, finances are just, uh, are, are really the driving force. Uh, gender equity is a big part of it as well. Making certain that if we were to elevate the men, that we'd have a plan in place for the women. Uh, travel logistics, missing classes, um, proximity to competition, uh, adequate facility. Um, and I would say, generally speaking, that if you'll notice with the 33 sports that we do sponsor, you know, we don't do anything that's half-baked. You know, everyone has the resources that they need. We hire the best coaches we can possibly attract to the academy from all over the country. Um, and we'd go into ice hockey the exact same way. You know, we would say, no, we're not going to wean ourselves into it. We're going to, we're coming out of the blocks with, you know, both guns blazing. Um, you know, just as with Gary, with, with Gary Colan, the best coach we can find. Um, Tim Taylor, best coach we can hire. Um, you know, Paco Labrador in, in volleyball, best coach we can hire. So there's no middle of the road plan to bring ice hockey back. And when we have the resources in place, and we estimate it's going to cost us probably a little bit over a million, or maybe a million two, to make it happen, and some structural changes with regard to facilities. Um, yeah, I think we'd do it, but it's just a matter of 33, as he's pointed out, timing, which makes it uh, difficult. Um, you know, and um, you know the the fact that the uh, resources are stretched to the point that adding it today. We'd either have to come up with a huge influx of funding or we'd have to drop programs in, um, to reprioritize and, and I'm just not prepared to do that at this time. 